Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope that all of you are doing great and I hope that this video goes well because this is the third time I'm trying to record this video for some reason. Um, so this is going to be, as you as you see in the title below, my hair update. Um, I did promise to do one last time I had a video. Um, I posted a video. I did it, but I lost the footage because there's something strange going on with my camera. And I recorded it last night when I got home, um, but then uh, something, I lost the footage the same way. I don't know what's going on with my camera. So hopefully this one works. This time it works. Um, I really don't have a lot of time because I have a lot of things to do, but I just wanted to film it and get it out for you guys as soon as possible. So let's just delve right into it. Um, as I usually do, I always like to apologize for things like, you know, if my background is bad or something like that. But today, I, I've been getting this, a complaint from one subscriber or one viewer saying that I should stop wearing my glasses while filming a video. I'm going to apologize that I need my glasses to see. So unless I am, um, I have a purpose for wearing my contacts. I do not like wearing them um, that often, especially during the, the week when I am not planning on, you know, putting on makeup or looking all glammed up. So um, forgive me if, you know, if it's bothering you, um, it might, you, you might see some reflections or some glares. If um, that bothers you, I, I apologize. And um, yeah, but I needed to see, so the glasses stays, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's just get right into the video. Um, this is a hair update video. Um, I really don't know what to discuss, but I am going to give you guys the backstory of why I decided to go natural because obviously my hair is out. Um, and I think it's actually a perfect time to do it just because the last time that I did it, right after my previous video, um, I still had a protective style in, so you couldn't really see my hair. But now that you can, um, yeah, so I, I guess this is the best time to do it. Okay, so um, I my last relaxer was January 10th, 2015. So I am about one year and three months post relaxer. Um, but my big chop was six months after that. Um, that was the 3rd of July, 2015. So I am currently nine months and how many days? What? um nine days post um so nine months and nine days post um big chop so what made me decide to go natural the the point of the matter is um for those of you who've been following me for a long time you know that here and there i do mention that i have the the itch or i have the urge to transition to go natural um but i never did it until last year when um the itch was really strong i think i did a what did i do i think i had in some um box braids um so i took my hair out i had gotten like a good amount of new growth um so i sleeved my hair back into a bun and i could see the texture of my new growth the curliness and it really like made me want to do it even more wanted me to um transition even more so my initial plan was to transition for um two years so that i won't shock everybody with short hair i will still have a good amount of length but um i really didn't want to wait that long either so we were having this discussion at work and um i i just stated out there that i was thinking of going natural and you know at that, at that time like 95 percent of the ladies i work were natural are still natural it was just left with me and one other um lady who was still relaxed um she was relaxed and i was text lax so you know you should have you, you should have seen the energy the like the the pushing like as you can do this do it your hair will grow back fast it will look good all those stuff and i was like i don't know if i'm okay with short hair because the last time i had short hair i was going to high school and like the last time i cut my hair off um in ghana you have to cut your hair off to be able to go into the boarding school, into the high school system. So, and I hated it. I totally hated it. So I didn't know if I would be okay with it this time. But they really encouraged me. So, yeah. I went home. I had already bought shears because I was planning on doing a trim because my hair needed a trim. So I got home and I told my family, okay, this is what I want to do. I told my fiance, this is what I want to do. Nobody liked the idea. Um, but I was really convinced. So I went into the bathroom, took the scissors, 
took a big chunk of the front of my hair, cut it off, and I was like, well, there's nothing we can do now. So <laughs> it's already done. The damage is done. So my mom went ahead to cut off most of my relax or my text likes and so that it will be easier for the stylist because I didn't want a big chop by myself. I wanted to have it professionally um, shaped and colored as well. So she just took off most of the length so that the stylist won't have a hard time. Um, so I, the next day, I that was July. Wait, this was July 2nd. July 3rd was when I went to this um, the, the stylist and she had my hair trimmed or cut off all the sex size and and some because I, I i noticed that she took some of my um new growth length off just to have a well-rounded shape um because part, parts of my hair grows faster than the other and she wanted everything to look better and even um so she did that and then i wanted my hair blonde so she 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 um bleached my hair and my first reaction was, oh my god, that is so blonde. So we had to work with it to get it to a shade that I was comfortable with. But it was gorgeous and I loved it. Um, my initial reaction to my hair being that short, um, to tell you the truth, I wasn't, I didn't feel regret. I didn't feel sad. I didn't feel like crying. And also, I didn't feel like liberated or I didn't feel like, oh my god, I've discovered myself or something extraordinary like that. Like, everything was just normal. I was just so happy with it. Um, I think I was more so happy with the fact that I didn't look like a boy and didn't look ugly. Um, and I actually really, really liked it. So, um, yeah, that was that was my initial reaction to it. Um, my re initial reaction to others, well, others' re initial reaction to my haircut my family loved it. My fiance loved it. Um, off the bat, they thought it was gorgeous. It was. It really suited me. Um, family and friends. I mean, friends. Um, really loved. Like everybody was very responsive to it. You know, of course, some some African mothers and women will be like, "Oh, you had this plenty hair. Why did you go cut your hair?" Yeah. So I was like, "No, I just there's something I wanted to do." But they they liked it. They liked it. And um, yeah. So it was positive all round until um, a couple weeks after, I think two, three weeks after, I got fed up with the color. Um, I think I am more comfortable with my hair black than with a different, I don't know, I felt like the color was kind of fading and it looked weird and I don't know, for, for me, everybody else seemed to love it, but to me, it kind of looked weird. Um, so I dyed it back black, back black. Um, and yeah, that's the color I have had um, ever since. So it's been nine months. Um, I wore my hair out the, the um, better part of last year. Well, from the time I big chop to the end of the year, I think I started protective styling um, this year with the crochet braids. Um, I did the Havana Mambo Twist. That, that's what you guys saw in my previous video. If you want a review, I can do a review on that hairstyle. Um, and then after that, I did the Afri Cubic 3D Twist or 3D Cubic Twist, whichever way it is. Uh, I will post pictures at the end of the video so you guys see what I'm talking about. If you want a review of that too, I can do that as well. So let me know down below. Um, yeah, so I did those and now my hair is out and I am just chilling. I think I'm a little tired of protective styling, so I'm going to let my hair breathe a little bit till I feel like I need to change it up again. Um, so, yeah. That's the that's the backstory. It's been nine months and it's been good so far. Um, I did have one setback, but it wasn't really a setback. Um, it was after my Havana Mambo Twist. And I don't attribute this problem to the hair. It was my fault. Um, I took out, it was, those were crochet braids by the way. I took out my braids and I immediately, I did like a light finger detangling and I immediately went to wash my hair. Um, but I came out with a lot of knots and tangles. So I think that was because I didn't thoroughly um, um, detangle my hair because um, <clears throat> I had a lot of shedding. And I, if you don't remove the shedding, properly it can get knotted in the actual hair so i think that's what happened um and i was so sad because i thought I'd, i would have to go and do a second big chop because there were so many tangles in my hair so many um yeah 
and I made it worse by not even taking my time to detangle. I just went on and styled it. I did a wash and go and with the gel and everything, it made it a hot mess. So I thought I would have to go cut my hair again. Um, but thank God for the Aussie Moist <laughs> 3 Minute Miracle. Um, that thing saved my hair. Um, I had stopped using it for a couple of years, I think for maybe two years. I went back to it and it all the tangles just fell out like all the shedded hair fell out it was amazing so that saved my hair and I thought I, I would have damaged hair like on even ends and stuff but my hair is perfect it's fine so yeah that's that's a good thing um in regards to products I haven't really been experiment to tell you the truth guys I am not like super um adamant about having my hair grow fast um i think i'm pretty chill probably because of the fact that i don't have as much time on my hands like i used to when i was in school so i wasn't really like too full i was i was too focused back then on hair growth hair growth hair growth the long hair long hair now i'm like okay the short hair looks cute as long as it looks cute i'm good i don't really like my hair is growing but i'm not like you know trying to enhance that growth in any way i'm letting it be um so that with that being said um i seriously i wash my hair when i can um i try to do it once a week but when i if i can't it's once every two weeks um i don't shampoo as often um i shampoo when i feel like my hair has like a lot of buildup but mostly i do deep conditioning and co-washing um so that's pretty much it um uh, I for the, the for the better half of last year um, I was doing a lot of wash and goes because that's what my hair could do at that time because of the length um, I think that's why I got fed up with it and I decided to do crochet braids so it's been wash and goes recently um, and when I took my hair out my hair is a it's longer now so I can do more twist out I can do a, a puff um i can't you can't really tell right now because guys the shrinkage is real though but my hair is longer <laughs> so yeah um i can do puffs i can do um twist outs i actually even flat iron my hair last week it didn't turn out right because i think i need to relearn how to flat iron my natural hair because flat iron my natural hair is not the same as flat iron my relaxed hair at all so i i i was my hair can be held in a pony um like in a bun it's a small bun, but at least it can be put in a bun. So I used extensions to, you know, to to enhance the bun to make it better, bigger and better. And then I also did a halo braid or crown braid. And it was, yeah, so right now I can do a lot of things to my hair and I'm really excited about that. Um, but right now I have my hair in a wash and go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I might do a separate video of my hair products because... I I haven't ser I haven't been experimenting with products at all. Okay, let me apologize. If this video is all over the place, I'm sorry because it's been a while since I've done a hair update, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, as it comes, I'm gonna tell you guys. I haven't really been experimenting with products um, at all, but I can't really say that these are the same products I've been using in my text last year because I don't remember what products I featured in my last hair update so I might just do a separate video of my the products that I use now very simplistic regimen um nothing too serious at all at all at all um so yeah so I try to do hairstyles that last me the whole week because I really don't have time during the week to be playing with my hair so yeah so right now I have it in a wash and go um, yesterday when I recorded this video, I tried to do like a mini lens check, didn't work out right because I am really not trying to disturb my curls right now or my coils right now because I need this hairstyle to last me the whole week. So what I did say in that video is that, um, I will, um, do a mini lens check the next time I went on my wash day when I have all this gel and I really don't care about messing up the hairstyle I would do like a two minute video like a really quick video showing you guys what my length actually is now I'm nine months post um yeah so that is it this is it um this is what it's looking like let me zoom in so you guys can see okay so this is what my hair is looking like right now I'm gonna try and turn around hopefully this works Okay, so that's the back of it. Oh, 
can't go that way. Okay, let's go back this way. <laughs> so yeah, so this is it. And I, I don't know if you can notice the brown. Yeah, that was from my hair not taking the dye after I dyed it. But I don't mind it at all. So, okay, let's zoom back out. So this is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, so I can do a lot more with it now. So I guess I have a lot more to share with you guys. Maybe in terms of hair tutorials, like quick ones when I have the time. Um, yeah, so what else did I want to talk about? So I will be um, adding some pictures at the end of this video so you guys can have um, see like what my progression has been. Hopefully I still have those pictures because I deleted a lot of my pictures off my phone. But um, I will be posting, adding those pictures at the end of the video so you guys can kind of see where my hair is at right now. Um, it's definitely growing and I'm fine with it and I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, um, oh yeah, so I did... I don't know what my hair type is. Um, I yesterday I, I I was telling you guys that well in my field video that um, I'm probably a four B. I'm not sure because this part of my hair is way looser than the back of my hair. So I'm just gonna say an average four B. Just keep it that way. I don't know what it is. I don't know what my hair type is. But so yeah. So that's it. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this this short? hair um actually my hair is pretty flat right now because i just yeah got out of bed so <laughs> um i didn't feel like you know going through the whole reviving process because i'll have to do it later on for work so it's pretty flat right now and it might not seem like much but let me know what you guys think um and what you also like to see in terms of videos and stuff um leave them all down below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe hit the subscribe button it's down there it's down below um and also like this video and share it with your friends um share it on social media facebook twitter yeah um yeah so that's it that's all I have for you guys. So I hope that all of you are doing well. And I really hope to read your comments down below. And in my next video, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.